Sorting mode is used to easily identify what part is present. It can output up to eight different product types or sorting patterns, in some cases eliminating the need for PLC control or external devices. In addition to using discrete outputs, the part name or status can be output to a PLC through an industrial communication protocol. In this image, it's showing that we have three different product types. We simply learn the three images and then we can sort them between A, B, or C. Let's jump into another example. So in this example, I'm going to sort between parts that have a different colored component on them. First, we're going to start by going into sensor setup. Here's where I can select my sorting mode, hit OK. And the IV3 will start to adjust the brightness and focus, but I'm going to perform the smart image optimization to get a little bit better of an image. And so this component right here with the, is going to be um, the area of interest for me in this example, but you can adjust your box accordingly um, based off your application. All right, once this is complete, you can see this gives me a good image of my component. And I'll go ahead and go to next to step two. Now, notice it says master zero zero right here in the corner. If you're familiar with standard mode at all, you might know this step as your master image registration. But in sorting mode, this specifically is your master zero zero because this is my first part that I will uh, teach and identify. So I'm going to register the live image, which is my current part, as my master zero zero. Next, you can go to step three. And here's where I can add my tool. I am simply going to use a learning tool, but you could use any of these other tools depending on your application needs. And again, the component I'm really looking at is this colored piece right here. So I'm just going to narrow down my window a little bit and hit OK. And now you see it says not learn, so I need to perform my part image registration. All right, so because I already taught my master 00, you can see this part has already been saved. But now I need to go on and teach my other colored parts. So I'll go to an empty slot and swap this out, put in a different colored piece and hit add image. So this is now teaching my master zero one part. Again, I'll do the same thing until all of my parts are registered. I have a total of four parts, but you can match register up to eight master images or eight different parts. The other thing I would suggest doing is renaming your parts. So instead of master zero zero, I can rename this as my red piece. If I go to my master zero one, this is my black. If I go to master zero two, this is my white. And finally, I have a yellow. So now the names that I've just assigned it will be what is output as the status. When you're done registering all your parts and naming them if you'd like, go ahead and hit start learning. Learning has been complete. And now you can continue to add another tool as well if you want to use, if you need to use multiple tools to identify what part you have. Um, in most cases, one tool will be sufficient. And now I'm going to hit next to step four. So here, if you're using discrete outputs, note that you can use a different output for each part if you'd like. So I could have four different outputs, one for each, each color. 
Um, or if you are using Ethernet IP, this status of the color can be output through the PLC or another communication protocol. So I can hit complete here. And at this point, put it into run mode. And as you can see right now, my status is yellow. If I swap this out, here's my black component. Here's my red component and white. So as you can see, the sorting mode program can be a really easy way to sort and identify through different components. Um, instead of having multiple different programs or using one program with multiple tools just to identify the color, I can accomplish it through a single sorting mode program. I hope this helped explain how to set it up. If you have any additional questions, please give our tech team a call at 888 Option 24 Tech Support. Thanks and have a great day.